Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. We look today into how to build uh, dynamic uh, UIs uh, in Django with Alpine GS. Yeah, so let's uh, jump to my screen and uh, this is a sample application that I'll be uh, explaining today and probably in a couple of future uh, posts uh, I'll be using the same application to explain a few interesting topics about HTMX as well. So this is uh, this application is based on a table. Uh, data is coming from local Django database storage. There's a Django model defined. Then uh, there are a couple of Django views and there's a Django model form. I'll talk uh, all about this probably in future videos. Today focus is about uh, dynamic uh, UI and showing and hiding stuff on UI using Alpine GS. So let's see what happens if you click, for example, edit over here, then you, you saw there was no uh, server call, uh, there was no page load, uh, instantly uh, edit page was uh, displayed below the table and all other edit buttons uh, disabled uh, because based on the logic, uh, when we editing the record, then we should not be able to edit any other records until the, we save changes or cancel changes uh, for the current record. So here we can change uh, any data. Uh, we are editing uh, legs and uh, yeah, we can update uh, the salary, say like that and we press save, then data is, is saved to database. And uh, what I'm working now is uh, when data is saved, the table should be, data in the table should be updated. But this is not part of this video. This will, will be explained in future videos. Okay, and when we press cancel, then uh, the edit form is, uh, is not displayed anymore and uh, edit buttons are enabled again. So this is the example. And if you go back to, to the source code, so the way how source code is structured, this um, uh, employees HTMX file, main uh, template file where uh, we have two includes. One includes um, a table, another one includes um, edit form. And over here we have X uh, data attributes uh, defined on top of uh, standard HTML tags like div. And this X data is coming from Alpine GS. Yeah, probably if we go back um, over here, then if we look into Alpine GS, so this is the main website for Alpine GS, and uh, it it comes with nice set of documentation, and for example, X data the tag we're using X show also, and there there's a, there are other cases, uh, for example, you can. Iterate data uh, through Alpine JS and print it out, and um, there are few few use cases can be uh, implemented through Alpine JS. In my case, the most useful was to uh, to define variables with X data and use uh, show hide functionality and uh, toggle variables through Alpine JS on the client side. Yeah, so we're using X data and this one variable show edit form, uh, which is uh, false by default. And then we have X show defined on another div where edit form is defined and we're uh, using this variable. And by default, it it's assigned value false over here. So this block is hidden by default. And if uh, we click edit button in view table HTMX over here, if you scroll down, uh, below, this is the edit button, and as soon as we click on this button, then show edit form becomes true, this variable, and instantly uh, div block with x show edit form, uh, it becomes visible because value is set to true. And obviously, when uh, when we are inside edit form, there is a cancel button below over here. And this uh, another click event is defined on on the button when show show uh, we said show edit form false, and uh, this means uh, the block becomes invisible, obviously, right? And by the way, when we click edit, then 
uh, edit form becomes visible and all, on top of that we're using HTMX to execute uh, get request uh, to fetch uh, model form data and display this data uh, in an edit form. But we'll talk more about HTMX and stuff like this in the future post.